Hey, hey, Lady Borgia here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we have a double cut crease with a glitter, neon, whatnot. But the whole thing was to try out the Ace Beauté Slice of Paradise palette. Uh, it is one of four in their collection, in their new collection, and it is the Slice of Paradise. I stopped by their... Um, Instagram page to check out their quintessential palette. I'd always like this one blue in it and it was had been vacillating and look what I found Oh Does that not go along with my colorful and neon mood and we know I love to have colors around So I'm gonna check it out I did use it once before and I was filming it and had technical difficulties So I didn't get to finish so I have tried a good portion of the palette and I'm gonna tell you at the end what I think of it But right now Let's go see how I got this a uh, look and had so much fun. Don't worry, you know, I've got music in my ears. So once again, if I'm dancing, it means I'm freaking happy listening to music. All right, give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ding da ding ding dong ding hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. My Monday and Wednesday live series, multiples, and my multiple video uploads. I'm trying to upload a video every Friday and then another one or two. Um, on random days and, you know, getting back in there, being said. All right, let's go have fun. Okay, and here's the look. No, I'm just kidding, kidding, kidding. I don't know, I think it looks funny. All right, eyebrows on, eyes prepped. Going to be going into the Ace Beauté um, Slice of Paradise palette, which is one of four in their Paradise collection. They just came out with this was an impulse buy. Uh, there's a lot of palettes out right now with a lot of color, which makes me happy. So we're going to test this out amongst other things. But we got to get started first with. Yes, that's right. This is so cool. Whoa. Oh, I love this. This is one of the things I picked up over the summer. This is why I'm not doing haul videos. I'm going to show you guys in here. And we are going to start with this beautiful lip liner, which you can use as an eyeliner, whatnot, in Lemme. And we're going to start mapping out. Don't mind my mirror with a little cloth. We know I have arthritis. <laughs> if you don't, I do. And it's easier for me to hold on and wipe the fingerprints off. The Morphe 321. Oh, too much coffee. I've got the jitters. It's rainy and humid today on the East Coast. Let's just blend above the line. Try to get my silly thing out of there. Okay, we've got Lemmy blended out. And don't worry if it's not absolutely perfect. Perfect. It's just a general shape that we've created. More VM39. And we're going to dip into a kiwi right here. There's a bit of a kick, but we're going to see. I love trying new indie brands, and this one got me. Ooh. Right. And just start going in above the line. And just build it up. Alright, go ahead and take another Morphe 321 or just wipe off the other one. Um, get back into Kiwi and we're going to intensify the lower part and just keep building. And keep this a little lower. Alright. 321, wipe it off, get a different one. I've got a bunch of these, these are fantastic. And we're gonna go into Macaw. Ooh, there's a lot of kick on that one. Never tried this one either. We're gonna go a little low at first, just to deepen up this area right here, the outer area of your eye. I don't know why I'm talking like that. 
Ooh. Ooh. Pull her over. Just make sure the shape stays nice and it diffuses up and isn't into a sharp line right here, but we're gonna buff that out too. All right, I'm gonna take a clean blending brush. Uh, it's a Sephora kind of flat crease brush blender. Right, and we're just gonna buff out the top. All blended out with a clean blending brush. And we're gonna go in with a Morphe, I believe 507 or 506, they're great. 507's a little bit longer. And we're going to hit a blue bell. I've never tested this one. Gosh, look, I barely touched it. Look at that kick on there. I noticed that with some of the um, colors up here, like this one and this one. Let's kick that off. That would be pretty. We're gonna put that up here lightly. There's a very light touch. Don't grind it in. Holy, I'm barely touching in it. Looks like I dug my brush in. One thing that I'm noticing about these shadows, this being the second time using the palette and hitting some other shades, is uh, be careful on your blending because they do blend nicely, but you can over blend them pretty easily. Okay, now it's time for a little bit of sh sharp tape tape. <laughs> It's time for a little bit of Tarte Shape Tape or um, Mac Pro Longwear, whatever you prefer. And we are going to cut the crease in kind of rear shape. I was doing a big roller coaster the other day. I'll come back and fill that for you guys later. We're going to bring it up a little bit higher because we're going to do it again. And take your time to get it really clean and sharp. All right, we're going to take some milk setting powder or an eyeshadow or whatever setting powder you have. Just gently set that. And be careful not to move your beautiful work because you can <laughs> you smear it voila see you are the work of art all right now the next part we're gonna cut it again i have this new morphe look at that color of blue gel liner in vitamin c and i thought why not Okay, it's not for the faint of heart because you can make an incredible mess, but we're going to go slow. So we're going to cut the crease again with vitamin C gel liner from Morphe. All right, we're just going to take a flat shader, or you can take a bigger flat shader too, whichever you'd like. And we're going to dip into this. I was so excited when I saw this came out. First one I got was dry as a bone, but Morphe was great and sent me um, both this one and the black again, and they're fine. And we're just stamping on the basic shape so we can build, as you see, it's actually in my crease. We're gonna build that upwards and once you get the top just the way you want it then just start filling in and you can make little teeny adjustments along the way because you want a nice um, negative space but you do want it you know, a light green. I didn't want to completely white it out. Okay. 
You remember, it's going to close in a little more at this edge. We want it open and a swoop and then close down up to a flick. It's all about shapes. I love shapes. And the spot along the lash line, you can leave it a little open at the bottom. Or you can fill it all the way in. It's, I like to leave a little room for eyeliner. Okay, we're just gonna take um, some concealer on a little brush and um, there's really not much to clean up on this side. Just a little bit on this side, but let's get it cleaned up. Voila! Here we go. Alrighty! We are doing well. We're gonna go back into the Ace of Beauty Slice of Paradise palette. And I'm gonna get a flat shader, Morphe M166. But I'm gonna go into Macaw and set all this gel liner here. Let's just pack it down. Any shader that's got a rounded top is good because it fits in the round shape we've created. And then pop a little bit of this blue on the other side. And just create a shape on the lid. That starts here and kind of fades back in. And if you need a little bit more of the macaw, go ahead and head into that. Just flip your brush back and forth and you can use the same brush. All right, we're going to use a Morphe MB26 detail brush. And yes, I've got a good song going on. Back into Kiwi, very lightly so you don't mess up. And we're gonna clean up under here, don't worry about that. Just a bit of love here. For definition. And then use the side of the brush. Remember, you've got multiple sides of a brush, not just one. So you can actually like just flick it outwards a little bit to diffuse it. All right, I was checking out this green fruit dove on my arm and it's so pretty. I think I'm gonna take one of my favorite flat shaders, a Sigma E56, and we're gonna go in there. And we're gonna pop it in here in the corner and see what happens. Oh, okay, that was good. Good choice. It's always a little scary when you get up to this point and go, well, hell, I'm just going to stick this here and see what happens. Let's go up to that edge. Oh, no setting spray. It's pretty good. And we are up to this. We are in the home stretch of this eye look. I'm liking it. All right, and we're going to need some eyeliner. I'm thinking Sigma Line Ace and Sigma Pink or the purple. I think it's Inscription. Yeah, it's Inscription. I just got these as well as white and black. So we're using a lot of new things. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I squeal. <laughs> just a little. I hope I like these. I've never used them. Clods up a little bit. I do like the pop of pink. All right, I'll take this off. So let's see what it looks like. Quick. Wow, yes. 
in it, blood everywhere. No big deal. Let's clean that up. Super easy. Yeah, that happens. Let's get it out of the corners. This is not a worry at all. Paused it. And there we go. Clean up a little bit. And here we go for the white liner up with the nail. Next time I use this palette, I'm definitely going to put powder under my eyes. Um, there's a lot of fallout. It is very dusty. And um, this is now the second time I've used it this week. Okay, once again, just one more little thing. I want to try the white just a little bit. Huh. Not the smoothest white. Come on. Gosh, that just does not want to go flat. Sigma, come on. Come through. Mm. I might have to switch liners because that's looking a bit crackly and I'm not very happy about that. Okay, um, some of the liners didn't go on as well as I had hoped, and you can see they're already starting to flake off right here, which to me isn't cool. I mean, you don't go to this much work to have it come off. So we're going to fix that, and we are going to add some pink UV glitter after all, because you don't go to this much work to have the liner flake off. That's no good. All right, fix in process. I'm gonna show you what to do when something happens like this so you don't just go and remove the whole eye. If they're gonna turn flaky and crusty this fast after putting them on, you're not gonna be able to use them for anything but photos. So um, either use a fingernail. I prefer the soft end um, of a lash tweezer. I don't use them for putting on lashes much, but this soft tip for adjusting works really well without damaging your eyes and I'm just gonna take some of the excess off it's now dry always wait until it dries and you can flick it off and we'll just redo that's all it's fixable I mean, that's the thing. You can't lay down something anymore when they start to crack because it just bubbles and bubbles on top of itself. This was meant to just be a quick eye look, but why not show you how to fix it when products go wrong? Maybe we flicked off anything that was crunchy or whatnot. I think the white really was the one that did it. And uh, reapplied the Sigma Pink, and we're going to put a little of the purple inspiration over it and a little glitter. Uh, this one's much smoother all right now that we're fixed up a bit we're going to get into a lit no doubt glitter it's beautiful it's also UV glitter and I'm going to be applying it with the lit liquid adhesive they also have a water a they also have a watermelon one <laughs> they also have a waterproof one All right, we've got some glitter and, all right, for real, lashes and mascara. All right, lashes on, and I am liking this. So we're gonna take some Smashbox uh, lid primer and just pop it in the corner. Just helps things pop. In fact, I'd rather use a brush. With I'm going to run a little bit under here just to get some colors popping on the bottom. <laughs> I'm going to head back into the Slice of Paradise palette and I'm going to use my eighth inch mini mop and hit Rosefinch and Starling. 
kind of mixed together. And then a little bit of bluebell just out of here. I'm going to bring that up a little on the side. I like that. And I think we're going to pull some kiwi in. And then back to Bluebell. And then we're just going to deepen up the pink and the green. Very colorful. We're going to blend it out some more, but I wanted to put some of this fruit dove in the inner corner. So far, I haven't used any setting spray, so this is pretty bright. Okay. Back again with Cat Von D and the Lip Liner Collection. Can't decide between Saxer and Lemmy. So let's see what we've got here. Where the pink is. In the waterline. Oh, and in my lashes. Of course, you could totally use this for Halloween as a fantasy character or fairy or whatnot. Or wear it to the grocery store. I'm going to pick out some blush and highlighter and lipstick. Back. And that is the completed look. I added highlighter and lipstick, um, two colors, Too Faced uh, Melted Mattes in 1998 and Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. And Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kid in several colors, a little bit of concealer, uh, milk makeup powder, and that's it, guys. Sorry, I don't usually wear foundation, although I will continue the um, holy quest um, search for the foundation. Quest for the foundation. What am I talking about? All right, what do I think of the Ace Beauté Slice of Paradise palette that is one of four in the new paradise collection with them this is the first palette that i've ever received from them and i have used most of the shadows now i think they're colorful and fantastic um but the problem is it's hard to see in here but if you look closely this one this one this one um this one not the two shimmer shades but the mattes you can barely touch them and it looks like you've been digging your brush in so they don't really have a hard press and there's a lot of kickback and a good amount of fallout. Knowing that, they are usable. The only other issue for me is um, they tend to overblend and mud up easily um, as opposed to something like Sugar Pill or something else that has a harder press and you know, is what I'm used to. So will I use it again? Absolutely. I think it's really cool. All right. We still have to check it under the black light because I did add neon glitter from Lit Cosmetics. I know I'm a little neon junkie and check out this beautiful double cut crease. So hold on. Let's see what we got. All right. This is definitely not a complete neon look. I just used some neon glitter, but I got a lot coming so let's check it out what does it look like under the black light oh wow these glitters I have glitter in all of the eyeliner no doubt glitter by um, lit cosmetics so holy moly now I wish I put it on my lips <laughs> all right this is fun again uh, lots more coming to you I had a great time and I had fun trying a new indie product. So give your girl a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and ding, 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 dong, ding, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my live series Monday and Wednesday, 7 p.m. Eastern, or any of my 
multiple week uploads. So I'm trying to do every Friday and then add more in. So, all right, thank you so much. I love you. <laughs> Lady Borgia.